Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the hashtag Why Is This News podcast. This is episode number five. We did done five of these episodes, skids, man. We didn't done five, man. How you feeling today, man? How you feeling doing this podcast, man? How you been doing? Bro, I'm feeling great. I'm very stressed. How are you, man? I feel like I never asked how you're doing. How are you? I am very tired right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been doing a lot of tell. different stuff behind the scenes and stuff like that. Working on different kind of stuff. So, But you guys are going to enjoy it whenever I'm able to officially do some stuff and announce it and stuff like that. But uh, you guys will see. You guys will see. Um, yeah, man. Um, there's a lot that happened. Uh, during this week and we got a lot of different topics that we're going to talk about today and so you guys can sit back <laughs> get your snacks get whatever you got sit back and enjoy the show you know what i'm saying um so first topic we're going to talk about i want to get into this topic first just because it was probably the biggest story of the week i mean maybe maybe the, the other stories you talk about maybe maybe you may think they were bigger but this story like is like a serious kind of thing and that is this Quavo and Saweetie uh situation that happened so um a video came out by uh TMZ why does TMZ always get the videos <laughs> why do they bro, always they got, that sec- they got the security cam links, <laughs> how do you always get the videos bro but um uh, a video came out of um Sweetie and Quavo getting into a um, confrontation in the elevator. Uh, we we the elevator is just is just a bad place <laughs> for people, bro. Jay Z, Ray Rice, like like Aww, like, bro, like bro, we <laughs> stay away from elevators. <laughs> Stay away from elevators at all costs at this point, bro. Bro, get on an escalator, use the stairs, never use an elevator. Yes, never use an elevator, bro. And moral of the story, do not use an elevator. But um, this uh, video came out, and it's a lot of mixed emotions from people. People saying Quavo is a woman beater. Quavo is manhandled Saweetie. Um, Then there's people that are saying that Quavo did nothing wrong. Um, Quavo did not hit her and stuff like that. Um, What was your reaction to the initial video when it first came out? What did you, what did you, what was your analysis of this elevator fiasco that's happened once again for a celebrity? (laughs) Bro, the first thing I thought of, get them both on the Askren Paul undercard, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, we need something. You want to settle it. We hey, got to settle hey, it. Hey, we need, we need something, man. <laughs> we need something. I need closure, us. man. Exactly. We need closure, bro. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, when that when that first when it came out, I was like, I'm like, what is Quavo really supposed to do in that situation? I mean, the girl swings, sweetie swings at him. Uh, apparently, it's a car. I thought my first initial when people were saying it was a broken bag, I was like, of course it's a broken bag. Like, of course it is. <laughs> like, it wasn't, but it wasn't a Birkin bag. It was a uh, Call of Duty uh, bag or some, something like that, a, a box or something like that. And that, if it's Call of Duty, I know Quavo, is, I mean, most guys, more guys play video games than girls, although girls do be playing video games. But, like, I, if I would take a wild guess, I would say that that case belonged to Quavo if it has Call of Duty on it. I, I would take a wild guess and say that that's who that belongs to. And Sweetie tried to take it. Quavo, apparently, I guess 
He saw value in that and he tried to tussle it away from Saweetie. Now, here's where I would say Quavo I almost just just it's almost just to avoid any sort of way possible for people to try to say that Quavo is manhandling or anything like that. Damn it, just let her run off with the shit. <laughs> At this point. Let I say, just buy a new one. What yeah. Like, just run off with this shit at this point because if you try anything, touch her in any way, you could you could just do this. Just just do this. Ah, you hit me. They they will do that. They will do that. <laughs> they will they will do that, bro. And so that's my biggest advice to Quavo if he ever ends up in a situation again. Do not do not even try to try to tussle that away from her, bro. Just stay let her have the just the elevator. Stay yeah, stay out the elevators and just let her have it. <laughs> just let her have it because if that's ever if things ever get caught on camera and me personally I don't believe Quavo actually did any physical harm to her or anything like that but you know you tussling a, a her with the with the case is not that great of a look and now they're going to put you in the same category that Tory Lanez in and then we don't even know what the hell is going on with Tory. I'm neutral in that situation. I I'm I'm not making no assumptions about that until that case is done, which is I'm I don't know when the hell that case is going to be done. But they're going to put they're going they might put Quavo in that category with Tory Lanez. And it's going to be tough for the Migos because the Migos are a group that they have been hot for a couple years. They're going to have, gonna have to be called the duos now. Shit. <laughs> I mean, Austin is a pretty big star himself. So I mean, maybe I don't know, but take off. I feel like gets disrespected sometimes. I feel like he's the best lyrical, lyrically, and and out of the group, as far as like the bars that he gives and stuff like that. But um, people, they just they 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 don't listen to take off like that. But um, yeah, I think this can hurt the Migos to the point to where. They're supposed to be dropping Culture 3, I think, this year. And now you wonder if there's going to get the same support because this situation with Quavo happened. And now you wonder, is the Migos' career done after this kind of situation happens and stuff like that? I mean, what do you think? Like, what does this do to the Migos' career overall? I think it's fine, dude. I... You think it's fine? We've seen worse. We've seen we have worse. seen worse shit. Like, not saying I'm not justifying it by any means, but man, people's minds like it's fucking. Yeah. On to the next topic, dude. So like, I, I mean, look. I hope that I hope that's what happens, but uh, you 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 never know, bro. Cause you know that, Chris Brown's still putting out fucking music, dog. Yeah, but Chris Brown's a different kind of beast, though. Like you can't even like like the. I feel like you can deny. Like uh, amigos and stuff like that, and keep them out. You can try to deny, like a Tory Lane from from staying in the game and stuff like that, because you know people people try to say sounds like she's another Drake or whatever. They probably try to they they always say that stuff all the time, and so you know it's a little bit easier to keep those artists out of it and stuff like that to try to keep them down and stuff like that it might be a little bit harder for the migos just because i think they're bigger overall they've done more to the to the game of hip-hop overall but chris brown is like legendary status like it's he's he's just another level above the migos and tory lanes bro so like it was almost it was inevitable that chris brown was going to get back on his feet and get back he's just too good like, the brother's too talented. Like, the Migos. Tory Lanez is talented, too. But, like, it's just... I don't know. And the Migos was already on a downslope. <laughs> and then that's why I'm saying it might be a little bit easier for them to get them, maybe get them out of here. But I, I hope that don't happen. I hope that does not happen. But we, we, we will see. Um, but, 
Yeah, it, it, it's a sad situation, and it shows people. People, and here's the biggest thing that people, because if you look, if you follow, I don't know if you follow the shade room or whatever, but all, all the photos and stuff like that of couples that they post and stuff like that looking like, oh my god, I love them, and see all the girls in the car, oh, I love them. I'm like, y'all don't know what the hell going on behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes of what's going on in a relationship, bro. You have no idea what could be going on. And shit, it could be pretty on the outside and toxic as hell on the inside, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and so, hey, it, it, relatable. Yeah, it, it's it's it shit shit be crazy, bro. Shit be fucking crazy, bro. Hey, I hope Quavo he can get out of this situation scot free and nothing happens to his career. But I'm worried because the stuff I've been seeing. From the other side, from the people that think that Quavo actually <laughs> physically harms Saweetie, uh, they are uh, they, they are they're being very loud right now, and, and um, so we got we got to hope we got to hope and see if Quavo's career is in, in, in the Migos career isn't done after this. We we got we got to wait and see, bro. I think he's fine, but you know I've been wrong before. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. Next topic we're gonna get into, ladies actually, and gentlemen, actually, and I'm actually go can I can I say yes. something before we get to the next topic? I want to give my prayers yes. and my thoughts to DMX and to, into his family. Oh yes, that that really kind of bummed me out, man. That really kind of fucked with my head a bit. I don't know how you felt about that. Yeah, yeah, that that um, I would. Here's the thing, I wouldn't say. I was surprised by it because he's been dealing with this for the past two or three years. But DMX is a whole legend, bro. We got to respect DMX for what he did for hip hop, what he did for the game. And to see that he's in critical condition, people saying that he's either brain dead or he's in a coma. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and it's just, we're just not sure if he's going to make it out or not. It's just, it's, 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 it's a sad, sad situation, man. We, we was just watching him a couple months ago on Versus with Snoop Dogg. Seemed like he was doing decent. Yeah. He seemed like he was doing pretty decent. And then for this to happen, it's just like, damn, bro. And so uh, all my prayers out to his family um, I hope he can make it through it. He can get through it because that's a legend, bro. That's one of the top 50 or whatever, or top 25 greatest hip-hop artists of all time, period. End of discussion. We ain't even got to talk about that. But, um, yeah, man, I, I hope I hope you get through this, man. We can't keep, can't keep losing all these legends, especially to drug overdoses. I mean, we've seen Juice World pass away last year to a drug overdose. And so, it, it would be a shame if we lose another guy to that kind of thing as well, man. It, it would be a damn shame, man. It really, really would. So, yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> this, is a hard, this is a hard transition. Hard. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is a hard transition. Are we going to try it? Uh, we are going to talk about Quadeca's album, ladies and gentlemen. Um from me to you, I'm actually going to go and pull up the track list here really, really quickly. Um, let me look it up real quick. Uh, from me to you. Um, I did, If you, for those that do not know, I did review the project um, on, my, on my channel. I have a whole uh, video out reviewing the project. If you guys want to go see, you guys can watch it. But Skiz... Um, I, from what I, you told me before we got on, you just listened to the project. So I kind of want to hear, I want you to go first on this topic as well. I want to hear what your initial thoughts are about the project overall. And then we can get into each track and stuff like that. And how you felt about each track here and there and stuff like that. Or the tracks that you want to highlight. Um, dude, I don't, I don't even really know how to kind of go about this point but like i'm not gonna say it was bad i don't think it was bad there were some spots i thought were kind of cringe but you know 
I see too many other artists in him. You know what I mean? Like, I, maybe I just have a jaded ear. Like, this could be 100% on me. Like, when I listen to something, I'm like, oh, that sounds like this person. That sounds like this person. That sounds like this person. Like, he'll have, like, Frank Ocean or Kid Cudi, like, inflections. Or he'll have, like, Kanye-type beats. The production on this thing I liked a lot. I thought it, uh... That was that was that was my biggest thing. Was I the thought production. it might it, it was in like certain points was a little much, but it was still a highlight. You know what I mean? I thought the his vocal delivery was something to be desired, in my opinion. You know, I I always have this thing. It's just like get singing lessons. You want to sing? Get singing lessons. Man. It's not nobody's gonna think any different of you if you get singing lessons from a coach. You know, uh, you think Kid Cudi mm-hmm. just came out the womb just. Hitting them low notes, you know what I mean? The... <laughs> oh, the hum, yeah. the hums, the hums. <laughs> yeah. But that's just my take on it, you know. I also felt some of the things were kind of try hardy, you know what I mean? Like the he's almost like trying too hard to not be a YouTuber but be an artist, I guess. Like if I was to put it into perspective, mm-hmm. I thought the KSI Dissimulation album was better. Well, uh-huh. I mean, maybe that's a hot take. How did you feel about it? So, I reacted to it. People saw my reaction. I really... <laughs> I'm just kidding, oh, okay. dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, when I reacted to my first initial reaction, I'm like, he didn't miss, to me, production-wise. Production-wise, to me, it from because I've listened to his last project, it is a complete 180 from like the other stuff that he was doing in the past. It is completely different from what he what he customarily had done in the past and stuff like that. He did a lot more kind of generic beats with some boom pat beats on his last project, and he may have had he may have had like an interlude. Like one or two interludes that kind of maybe had some little similarities here and there to what came on, what was on the majority of this project here it is. So he had the capabilities, you could see it from his last project that he could maybe produce something like this, but he did it all together on one entire project. So that and my initial reaction, that shocked the hell out of me because I'm like, He's producing stuff like this. This is crazy stuff for him to be producing, having all this kind of production like this. Now, I did say when I reacted to uh, Sister's Fist, one song, that I think he overproduced that song. I did say that. And I feel like there are a couple tracks that he may have overproduced. But overall, I'm still impressed with his production. Now, to get to his rapping, I've heard Quadeca rap better than what he did on this project. I've heard him rap better than this. Um, cause I, I, the first initial reaction, you're not going to catch everything and stuff like that. You're not going to catch all the bars and stuff like that. And I haven't really gotten the concept behind why he has... the. No one really told me in the comments. I haven't really understood the concept of... Um, having the guys talking and at the end of the track and stuff like that with dealing with the mountains and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out like, is there something about that specific mountain and stuff like that that he's trying to get at or whatever. But um just the rapping and stuff like that, it I, I've heard him put together better bars. I've heard, definitely heard him do better with that. And I think more and I think he it was more so he was more focused on the production for this project than I think the lyrics and what he was rapping about and stuff like that. The singing I didn't mind as much I didn't mind as much. You saying that he, he felt like his singing wasn't that great. I've heard Kodeka from his other projects and his singing he has improved from the last time they did that his last project. He's definitely improved. So I didn't find any issue with the singing per se. He definitely can get even better, but there's definitely an improvement in his singing. He's definitely improved from what he did on voice memos for sure. Um, But overall, I did enjoy the project. I think it is really, really good. It's the best project 
as far as that I I've listened to this year so far. Me to me honestly, because it really hasn't been any great projects that's dropped really this year to me. Um, and I mean it's March. Say, it's well, it's March, April dude. now. Come on, but, give some people a chance. And so this was the first project that I said, okay, this was a good project from him. I definitely think he can do better um, overall. But uh, yeah, that's just my overall take on the project. Um, yeah, let's talk and tra- let's talk about the feature tracks, like the ones that had the features on it, because that's the tracks I really want to highlight. Because those to me were some of the best tracks on the album. To me, um, we'll talk about the pulling up this. All right. The, album right now. Yeah. Um, so track ten had uh, "Burning Bridges" slash "A Long Day" featuring IDK. That was probably the biggest artist that he had on the entire project. And um, I saw a lot of people that were pissed at IDK, saying that um, he he put on he had a very lackluster verse on his um on the project and stuff like that. They said they said it sounded like a phone in verse and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I can I can feel that. I can feel that. Like I, that's definitely not IDK's best work on a verse, but um. You know, what did you think about IDK's verse on Bernie Bridges slash loyalty? I thought, in my opinion, I, it felt like kind of like a lack of respect thing. You know what I mean? I don't think, like, I think IDK, IDK was just like, oh, you're a YouTuber. Ah, uh, here's a verse. Fucker. Get out of my face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was, t- I don't, I, he was talking about it on Twitter, talking about, it, but he promoted the project and everything and stuff like that. I mean, like, you know, not every artist uh goes out their way if they're on a song they don't even go out and promote it i mean he had promoted it and stuff like yeah, that maybe for Quadeca's like maybe maybe Quadeca is like friends with like his mom's friends with idk's mom or something like that well like a pity thing well his the producer that i know that Quadeca works with is like very well known in the industry like in the music industry his name's mike dean like he's very very known and he's worked with all, like all kinds of different artists and stuff like that so he they definitely people have definitely seen Quadeca. Like a lot of these artists have seen a lot of these probably YouTube rappers and they have this view of YouTube rappers, this stigma about them. And so it's hard to bust out of that bubble. I mean, DG, I mean, he's even, he, even he's still dealing with it now. His project that he put out, I think it's so like 12K first week and people are saying that that's a L for him. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> he should be selling more and stuff like that. And so, like, it's hard to break that barrier, barrier of being uh, on the YouTube scene as a rapper, and then coming into like the actual music industry. It's very, very hard. And so, I mean, even KSI, I mean, he hasn't even broken that barrier yet. He, even though he's doing crazy numbers, even he hasn't he hasn't even broken the barrier yet because people see KSI like, oh, it's KSI. Oh, music's not good and stuff like that. So, hey. It's, it's very, very hard to break that barrier. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why the verse wasn't that great from IDK. He was, like, thinking there won't be many people's eyes is going to be on it. But in reality, Quadek has a huge fan base. A lot of people are going to be talking about this. So, I don't know why he didn't give that great of a verse. Um, the next track, Work With, uh, had to feature on it with Playboy um, uh, Zay. Um, whose hook was all right? His hook was all right. I believe he's one of Denzel Curry's artists because I've seen him work with Denzel Curry a lot before and stuff like that. And um, the hook was cool. Um, the beat that that was probably my least favorite out of all the feature tracks. Um, Bro, forgive me. I don't remember it because it's a fucking hour long. <laughs> that, that's a problem. Yeah, th- that that's that a big problem. That me. is a long. Is that's the, it was a long project. That was that's another thing that w- was a little bit of a worry for me was that it being a long ass project, as well. So you know, like, so you know the uh, the new Justice League movie that came out, right? The one with the fucking four hour long runtime. I don't. I don't watch movies, but sure, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Rundown: The Justice League movie came out, fucking like a year or two years ago or whatever. Everyone's like, "Yo, this shit ass, this shit booty, get this shit out of my face." And then uh, Zack Snyder, the guy who directed it, he's like, "No, no, no, I didn't direct that shit. Somebody else did. I had to leave." So everyone's like, "Release the Snyder cut on Twitter," and then he eventually released it. And that shit was four hours long. 
It was better than the original. But it was four fucking hours. Yeah. That's my same mentality with this album. I listen to it and I'm like, fuck. It's it's an hour long. And then like the, I thought the music video or the video for the whole thing was cool. But I'm like, God damn, you've been out in the cold that long? <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> probably cold as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that brother is freezing his ass up. But I think he took all, the, like I said, he did all those shots in different times and stuff like that. I think I have seen him Still, explain it in like a video. Still, and shit must suck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah bro. Uh, I've done What's my- your favorite track off this thing? Honestly, it's between Burning Bridges and the track that we were about to talk about right now with Guap Dad. For I think Guap Dad gave the best verse out of any of the artists that was on here. And Guap Dad's a pretty decent, decently big artist. He, he's he's on the come. He's an artist on the come up. Like he's he's doing pretty well. Guap Dad four thousand. Um, he that song. He Quadeca did very very well on that that's that sounded more like a song that like you can get happy you can get jiggy with you can get happy with you can dance you can it can bring your spirits up type kind of thing and go out there i think he he he, he gave a good verse he didn't do no lack lackluster kind of thing like how idk did and stuff like that so i'm like it's between that and bernie bridges and the only reason why i'm saying bernie bridges is is in competition is because Quadeca, I think, did so well on that track because that's the ignorant Quadeca or whatever that that phase or whatever. I like that that ignorant Quadeca shit. There's people that don't like it or whatever uh, for some. We- I don't know. I don't know why they don't like that kind of that 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 that, that more aggressive kind of stuff where he gets really aggressive when he oh, raps. yeah, dude. He, he sounds so good when he's aggressive, dude. Yeah. 100%. And, and so, there's people that don't like that and I mean, I don't, I, like I said, there's, there's weirdos like that that don't like like when he gets into that bag because he, he was in that ignorant Quadeca bag for like, before he even re- put out Where'd You Go because Where'd You Go is, is on that ignorant Quadeca kind of vibe too. It's like, for like the other like year or so ago, that's when he was in that bag and he was getting hate for it. Like he had a song with Sad Frosty, or whatever, that I thought was complete fire, and he deleted it because people hated it. And I'm like, what is y'all doing? I'm like, do y'all want him to just sit and just lyrically bar y'all to death all the time, like all the time? Like I said, his rapping, I've heard quite like I said in the beginning, his, I've heard Quadeca rap better. And stuff like that. He could have been a little bit better lyrically. But you don't have to be Eminem every fucking time you rap, bruh. You don't have to be that person. Like, you don't have to do that. And so, um, yeah, I, I think that could maybe be why he didn't do that as much. is because he didn't want to see that hate. Uh, people are saying, oh, he's getting into this ignorant Quadeca bag, whatever. People don't like this and stuff like that. So I think that's maybe why we didn't get that as much on this project. We, I honestly would have liked that even more on this project. But I do appreciate the production, the time he put behind it. He clearly took his time with this because he took a whole year off. It was a whole year delay <laughs> from when this project was supposed to drop. And so... Hey, I mean, KSI is supposed to drop a, a project this upcoming year. We'll see how that does, and we can judge and see who had the better project out of the two this year. Um, I think, I think Crip drops a project. I don't think he's gonna be quite. I don't. I don't know. We'll see what Crip does with his project, but um, dude, I don't think. I don't care if you cut this out the podcast or what, dude. No. Oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna listen to it, dude. I'm not gonna listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? So one time, um, I I did uh the YouTube cipher is trash shit or whatever, and he commented on it, and I felt really because it was early on in my YouTube career, mm-hmm. and I was like Cr- career, but I was just like, man, I feel bad. That was the first time I felt bad because he actually said it, like really nice. He's just like, yo, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but you know, thanks for the reaction. I'm like, ah, shit, now I feel like a dick. Everybody else was all fuck this guy, you know. But he's like, yo, it's okay. Yeah, Crypt is never going to just go. One thing I was to cry about Crypt, he's never going to go blindly and just put out hate towards someone just because they didn't like it and stuff like that. I, he's not that kind of person. And dude, I was fucking mean. This was really <laughs> early on, so yeah. I was just like, 
more just mean to for the sake of being mean mm -hmm. instead of critiquing shit i'm like you suck you should be ashamed of yourself type shit mm -hmm. and uh so like i felt bad and i apologized to him on twitter and then he responded to me on twitter so i thought it was pretty cool but yeah i don't want to listen to his album <laughs> as mean as that sounds <laughs> I, I'll, 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 I'll probably check. I'll probably check it out or whatever. But I don't. If think it's good, let me know it's good, and then I'll listen to it. Yeah, I, I need your approval first. All right, I'll, I'll let you know for sure. But like, yeah, I'll probably listen to it. But like, I don't know if he's gonna be able to compete with the production that Quadeca did on this project. And then one thing Quadeca needs to do is stop giving a fuck what people think, dude. I, you know, yeah. Like, maybe it's just from me pissing people off since day one. But mm -hmm. dude, the comments. As, as nice as they can be, they do not matter in the grand scheme of things. And that's shitty to say. I know it's shitty to say because, you know, people love feeling validated. But these comments do not make you a better or a worse artist. Mm. You know, and uh, and uh, to, one... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you can listen to constructive criticism. Just, like, when somebody hates on shit and you see the dislike bar going up, be like, fuck it. I'm proud of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Facts. And the one person that I know Quedeca reveres the most is, and I mean, a lot of people revere is Anthony Fantano, the Needle Drop uh, reviewer and stuff like that. And he likes Sisyphus a lot, but I seen a video of him reacting to like a couple of Quedeca songs. Oh, me too, dude. Me too. And he was not fucking with it. And he hasn't listened to all the project yet. Well, he said, he said he's going to do a video on it. A review on it and put it on i guess on his main channel so that's gonna be that's got a huge look for quadeca in itself to have uh the needle dropper review on his project and stuff like that but um yeah i feel like that review is really going to tell quadeca like what's really good because i know that's the person he respects more so than anyone's opinion on is his because the needle driver, he 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 will tell you your shit is ass. He will tell you if your shit is ass or not. Uh, but you know, hey, we, we we'll see we'll see what that review is is like from because I know that's the one person that Quadeco he will probably really really take in, into account what he says and stuff like that. I like, saw his comments too, bro. I saw his because like I saw the clip that you're talking about, mm -hmm. and like a comment because it's not even the needle drops page. It's like a fucking fan page. Yeah. And shit. And he commented on the fan page. I'm like, man, hold me down, bad. It's okay though. I understand where he's coming from. Um, but you know, listen. If Anthony Fantano don't like it, doesn't mean your shit sucks. If yeah. you like it and you're proud of it, stick by it. You know. Facts. Fuck, fuck me, fuck skins, fuck yeah, have anybody else hey, don't like Hey, what the it. fuck? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> Say fuck me again, motherfucker. I'm coming down to Texas to beat your ass, <laughs> Yeah, no, that happened. Uh, <laughs> I know where you live, dog. No, you don't. <laughs> all right, come uh, on, baby. Uh-huh. Uh, so, let's get in to this next topic, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and that is, hold on, let me look it up. I'll go back to my notes real quick because I kind of forget that we were going to talk about. Um, this little Nas X thing? Yes, this little, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. The little Nas X. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the wildness uh, uh, of this story and stuff like that. So um, I reacted to the Montero music video, right? It got blocked, it was blocked initially and I couldn't put it up for like two days or whatever and i finally put it out or whatever and i had no issue with the music video obviously that the big issue was that he was sliding down a stripper pole and then he gave uh satan a uh, a lap dance and then he took the crown off his head and then put it on his head and stuff like that and um and so people was an uproar about that in its own. And I'm like, I had no issue with that. I mean, I know what the, we all know what the stigma is or whatever about gay people that if you're gay, then you're going to hell or Christians say that you're going to hell and stuff like that. If, if you're gay, my only thing that I was like, if I was like weird about was when I saw that he was selling shoes the 666 yeah. shoes 
And that's where I was. That's when I stepped back and I was like, huh? Why? Why are we selling shoes now? And Nike even even Nike was like, hold on, what? Because they had the Nike logo on it, and they took them down off the stores and everything and stuff like that. So that was weird to me that he was really doing the shoes part. Like I get the music video, but the shoes that that. I, I, I couldn't understand it. What what did you think about the whole situation with Little Nas X? Bro, you know John Jones? Yes. The fighter? Yes. Who does? That motherfucker said, I'm burning all my Nikes. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Motherfuck- Dude, John Jones been going crazy on Twitter. But anyway, he's like, man, fuck you, Nike. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Bro, I feel bad for Nike, but like I feel bad for Little Nas X too. You know, you know, like I don't care if you want to give Satan a lap dance. I think everybody's like too like yeah like, sensitive about that shit nowadays. It's like it's 2021. You really are mad about a gay dude giving Satan a lap dance in a music video, bro? Eminem, you, you remember that shit Eminem used to do? Wait, 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 way worse. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Eminem did just do some wild shit. Yeah. It's, we're in the social media area though, bro. Eminem wasn't in the social media area like like we are are now these days and stuff like that, where people can just talk about how they feel about certain stuff on the internet and stuff like that, and be canceling and cancel culture and all that kind of stuff. Eminem didn't have to deal with that that kind of stuff. So, yeah, a lot of shit that he did back then would not have flown now in today's era. It, it would not it would have not happen. There's no way it would happen. But um, yeah. Uh, I just, I even talked to, I was on uh, live with Samad talking about this. Uh, Samad Savage, who was doing I know who I'm talking about. He's an artist. Um, and he was, me and him had the same th- thing, like, where it was just the shoes. It just seemed like it was a, a clout chasing kind of move that he didn't need to do. Little Nas X is a big artist. <laughs> he did not need to be, go out his way to try to sell shoes to try and make like a, I don't know if, I don't know if he was trying to make a statement or like or anything like that. I, I I just didn't think he needed to sell six 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 shoes, red shoes or whatever, to try to make to 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 try to uh, sell the song and stuff like that. I don't think he needed to do that. He's a big enough artist. He don't need to go that route and do kind of stuff like that. What do you think? Are you a religious dude, Sky? Um, I'm, 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 I'm decently religious. I'm not, I, I, I've fallen off a little bit. I used to be really religious when I was younger, but not as much anymore, but. Like, what about I, Samad? Was he, is he religious? Do you know? Jama- Samad is very religious. Yes. You see, I think that's just a difference of perspectives there. Like somebody who is very religious may take some problems with it. But like, for example, myself, I'm not a very religious guy and I'm just kind of like, what's the fuss about? But it's it's different for perspectives. I'm not saying that Samad's wrong. He has different belief a different belief system than I do, and mm-hmm. so do you. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like, uh, we don't view shit the same. So we all look at this kind of different, which is kind of the beauty of this whole fucking phenomenon. Everybody has some tweaked opinion opinion on this shit. Yeah. Like, nobody's opinion is the fucking same on this. I can't find a singular opinion that is the same as somebody else's. Not one. Yeah. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. And so like this like I said, we have seen Joyner Lucas go off about it, about little Nas X. Um there was you, Joyner. It was someone else that went off about it or whatever, saying like what about the kids and stuff like that. I'm like your kids you should be monitoring what your kids be looking at bro your kids should not be able to be have a phone and be able to find that kind of stuff and find a video of little nas x and him twerking Twerking on on satan Satan and stuff like that or seeing the shoes or whatever like you should yeah that's what do these these parents think's gonna happen you think they're gonna see little nas x and they just instantly become gay like what is with these parents i I, I, know my kid's gonna like men now that's that i think that's i think that is literally what it is i think that's what they're afraid of they're afraid of that and then the demonic shit and stuff like that they may be a religious or or whether they're religious or not and they they know hell they don't be me and at like hell or anything like that and so they 
It is don't a decent want song, the... though. It is a decent song. Yeah, the song's decent. I wouldn't say... I've heard better from him. I've heard better from him um, overall. The song is decent. I was just so distracted by the music video. I was just like, what is happening? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and shit like that. But, you got uh, your Bible with you? This is yeah. This is <laughs> yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, I'll just... Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta have more control of if you're if, if you're a parent and you're afraid of, of seeing your your child see something like this. Don't let them see it. Then don't give them a cell phone at the age of ten <laughs> or whatever and stuff like that. Don't give them that kind of. If you don't want them to see that kind of stuff, then don't let them have your iPad whenever you're busy. And they can go and look up something like this or whatever and stuff like that. So what age did you get a phone, dude? I don't mean to interrupt you. Boy, age did you get a phone? I think I was twelve, but like I didn't. We, back then, we didn't have like the smartphones where you can look up stuff on the internet and stuff like that. You really only had a phone to like um, really just either play music or play like a game and stuff like that and call people. You didn't really have it where you could have access to internet and stuff like that. So. Having a phone then, like, if you want to give a child a phone, give that, a child that kind of phone. Yeah, that's <laughs> when what I'm they're, when to they're younger. And like, instead of giving them a smartphone, although, I mean, pretty soon uh, it's going to become to a point to where uh, flip phones and all those kind of phones are going to become obsolete where you can't even buy one anymore and you're going to have to find one off eBay or some shit like that. <laughs> bro, I might but, sound like, like a boomer right here. I could sound like a complete boomer. But. I want to put this out in the universe. My nephew, he's three years old. He could work a smartphone like nothing, but he can't wipe his own ass. <laughs> what the that's, fuck? That's, that's, that's the times we're living in, man. That's the time. It's the social media era. That's the times that we are living in. I just wanted bro. that out there, man. That's, it's, it's, it is crazy, bro. Big old titties, dog. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into this last topic, ladies and gentlemen. And um, this is just like an overall topic. And that has to do with the uh, S-I-M-P word, the, 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 simp, the simps <laughs> that are out here. Because there's a couple things that happened um, this weekend that I'm like, I'm, I'm very disappointed in us guys, man. I, I really, really am. Um, so, and, and also part of it is a little bit, y'all, y'all are weird as fuck as well <laughs> for this shit. Cause we're going to talk about two different topics. One of them, y'all are weird as fuck for this shit. Um, but one we're going to talk about is my boy flight. We talked about flight a little bit throughout our podcast last, uh, I think last week or a couple weeks ago, where we talked about him and his girl, um, getting into it on live stream where she, um, turned off his his stream um he put out a video later on of her banging on his door it sounded like a whole psychopath yelling at him and shit and i'm sitting here thinking okay yeah flight okay he's did the right thing he broke up with her he gonna stay away from her well <laughs> well flight got back with her flight got back together with her and he talked about he going to give her three or four kids. They're actually engaged. So the engagement is back on and shit like that. And so I'm like, I'm just, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand how you can have someone disrespect you in that way. Even go on Twitter and put out the thoughts that you may have even hit her. And you get back together with her. I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. These kids. I. What? Why? Why? Why did he get? Did, can you explain to me why he got back together with her? Like, what's going on? Bro, homie, Azim. <laughs> uh. Azim, dog. Homie, Azim. Homie. Oi, boy. Oh, shit. almost fell out of my chair. Homie is soy, boy. It's okay, though. I told you, Sky. You're a simp as well. We're all simps. No. Not to that level. Sky, <laughs> Sky, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. 
Oh you, my. you steady fighting about this. Oh my god, bro. You Fam. a simp as well. Fam. I'm telling you. Fam. He's presented with it. We Fam. Also but yeah, uh, yeah, I think they should be uh, also on the Askren Paul undercard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who would win that fight, that fight cuz fight is a skinny dude. <laughs> I don't bro, even know. <laughs> Homegirl fuck him up, bro. Bro, bro, I don't even know, bro. It, I I'm just disappointed that flight. I like I I got like I could understand if you went back to or whatever. It was just that screaming or what the yelling and stuff like that, right? But when she goes out and puts the thoughts that you hit her, that's trying to ruin someone's career, bro. Like, like he just bypassed that. I'm like, bro. Even that, I'm like, come on, fam. Like, I could, like, you know, I said, I could understand if like you went back to her or whatever if that was just that. But the fact that she put out the thoughts that you, of you hitting her, and we see what's going on with Quavo and Saweetie and that shit and stuff like that, like. Bro, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Like that's sipping to a whole another level. And then this bad baby thing. She starts an OnlyFans, and she makes a hell um, yeah. But you did not buy it, so you had better not have bought bought that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be very. I bought it. I oh hell it. I no. got everything. No. Dude. No. I got all of it. I am bankrupt as a motherfucker. Oh dude. my god! All my money. I got. I can't move out now. Oh I can't move out now. I gave her god. about thirty thousand dollars. Oh hell no! <laughs> oh hell no, skis. Remember that? Remember that tweet from academics a long time ago? I can't remember if it. I, I don't think it was real or. I don't remember if it was real or not. Where he says, "Man, bad baby got big titties for a 15 year old." You ever see that tweet? I don't remember that tweet, but like he's he's even weird for that. I don't know if it's real or not. He's I even weird for that lot, tweet. And I see people. I I remember people saying "never forget," which makes me think it's real. I've been seeing it a lot. Motherfucker said she got big titties for a 15 year old. Lock academics up because he bought this shit. For <laughs> everything. He spent the bag on bad baby dog. And then she made a milli in six hours. Six Holy hours. Fuck. Like, she has bruh. more money from OnlyFans than my dad has in his retirement right now. Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, what are y'all doing? I'm like, first, of, for, here's the first thing. If you want to see this shit so bad, just go on Reddit. <laughs> You will find it for free yeah. <laughs> if you want to see no, it I that saw bad. Do a <laughs> I was but, curious, and somebody did a review on it. Like, oh they did, I, I wasn't God. curious like to buy it, but I was curious of like what the fuck's going on. Like, why is she getting a million dollars? And somebody reviewed it. Somebody did like a, a video review of it, and they're like, "Dude, don't buy it. There's nothing there. It's just Instagram shit." And I'm like, "Oh, you, she got you, dude. She got you. <laughs> what the fuck? No way." <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my! I don't. I, I don't understand. I don't. Granted, I don't want her showing fucking everything because she like turned eighteen. <laughs> like she like, literally like, just turned. Exactly. It, it's the same thing that happened with that uh that Malu girl, whatever. Everyone was. It's like the older guys were just waiting, waiting until she turned eighteen, waiting until she's eighteen. Oh, she's eighteen. Let's pout her. And I'm like, bro, what? What is y'all doing, bro? Like, I hope everybody realizes what I'm saying about Bad Baby, for the most part, was a joke. Yeah, you know? I, I hope I hope, I hope, I hope, they do realize that. I really do as well. Because if I get outed on Twitter as a Bad Baby simp, I'm going to be hella pissed, and I'm going to quit you. <laughs> like, I can't show my face if that's the case. Oh, my Fuck God, that. bro. Um, there's a reason I made the song Gilts. To stay away from young bitches. You know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. I uh, would never. I in my life I would never. Like, but I know Sky would never either bro, if I'm speaking for him. Bro, bro. <laughs> I don't understand how y'all like bro. Like y'all let y'all y'all really let her finesse y'all <laughs> for a million dollars in six hours. Y'all really let her do that. A million fucking dollars. Y'all really let her oh finesse y'all. <laughs> That's bro, so mind boggling because they're gonna leak the shit. Like a star like her, a, star, a person as big as her, they're gonna leak the shit. 
and y'all go and buy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker's gonna use NordVPN so they can't find the IP address and then fucking leak this shit, Like, dude. bro, there's... Holy fuck. Like, bro, there's so many <laughs> loopholes and stuff like that you can do to get shit if you want it that bad, bro. Like, it's not hard to get <laughs> without having to pay for shit. But the thing shit. is, why do you want it that bad, bro? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I hate it. Well, we know I why. So we know I why, the... but, like, you know, it's... I hate the fact she made more money in six hours than I will ever make in my life. That really hurts me. <laughs> ah, just to, Us just motherfuckers easy, be having jobs and shit. Easy, be having jobs. Easiest money she ever made in her entire life. Us guys, we can never make money that easy. <laughs> we have to work our entire life to make money that easy. <laughs> our Bro, entire life. If I went life. on Dr. Phil and went and been like, yo, mom, you're a bitch. Dad, suck my wiener. Like, I hate you both. And I went to Dr. Phil and I said, you bald-headed fuck, come at me. I, everybody would laugh at me and, like, clown me out the building. I wouldn't become a meme. But she says a stupid catchphrase. And now she's got a million dollars in six hours. I'm pretty sure. Remember, you know Tana Mojo? Yeah, I know that. Is, yeah, she's a YouTuber and stuff like that. Yeah, she has like a similar thing going on where she made like two million dollars off OnlyFans, not in six hours, but she made that much. Yeah, bro. Like, I can't stand these people. Yeah, I hate women. That <laughs> Skiz is a woman hater. <laughs> oh, my I God. side with Quavo. <laughs> I think most of us side with Quavo. There's just another side that's like, nah. <laughs> and so it's 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 it man look, bro. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, <laughs> bro. I really wish it. We gotta come up with all kind of innovative ideas to try to make videos that may that may or may not go viral and stuff like that. Like they just post half naked pics and boom. All right, so they got I, a million I think I, dollars. I think I thought of an idea. What? Do you own a gun? Not, no, I don't. Not, I mean, personally, no. Do, do, does any of your parents own a gun? Yes, they do. All right, so you're going to take the gun, and you're going to shoot me in the leg. And then maybe, <laughs> with the right marketing, we can start a boxing match and we'll get some money. I, re, I could rehab the knee, and we'll have a storyline going into the boxing match. And then... We'll, we'll, get some, get, so you, we'll get the bag. So you want me to Tory Lanez Megan the Stallion you is what you're saying right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't care. Like, it just one though. Just like I don't want you to like take liberties and like you know, let off three of them. <laughs> what the fuck? I just fuck around and kill you. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah. Like at that oh point I'd be like, my... Alright, this is kinda fucked. This is kinda <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucked. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? Finally I got my opportunity. I'm gonna wait for Oh, all the all the trash yeah. videos. I really was against that. My fuck you, bro. I'd be doing I'd be doing a trash video on you in a wheelchair. Oh my god, bro. Why Siddle TV is trash? What, <laughs> bro? It, it, if I ever put out that video, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm I'm gonna let you get. I'm gonna let you fucking be surprised by it. Well, yeah, and, uh, then I, we would have a major problem if you ever did a video like that. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually be coming to where you live at at that point. Like, nah, uh, uh, we're running this fade. Ah, uh, shit. No, nah, we're running this fade. Nah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we ain't having that. <laughs> we ain't having that. But uh, I think that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode of the Hashtag Why Is This News podcast any last words you want to say to the people skids before we sign out here man stop simping please 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 please, please. I, I please like yeah, like bro like a million in six hours <laughs> a million the in fuck? six hours <laughs> no the fuck no <laughs> oh Dude. Oh my god. This is code red. Code red what? <laughs> this over Ocean Eleven, dude. Fucking yes. throw all the code names out there. Yes. I bro. can't stand this shit. Yes. Ugh. Wait, I wanna look hold up, hold up. Before we end it, let's look it up. Let's look up how much it costs. 
All right, I'm gonna look it up real quick uh, for research purposes. All right, uh -huh. browser. <laughs> um, shut your ass up. I thought this was real. Uh, Research all right, we're gonna purposes. look this up uh, for. Um, fuck, where is it? Where is it? All right, it is twenty three ninety nine. Fuck no. <laughs> um, and then her very first piece of the description is eighteen. Crazier than you think. DM me. I am on here every night responding. Uh. And, uh, okay, the first the first one's pretty funny. What's with what's with everyone in my DMs asking me to rate their dick? Bish this <laughs> American dick, lol. Uh, <laughs> American dick idol, the fuck? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Bish said this ain't American dick idol, bro. All right, I, I want to take a second just to read some of these things. Oh uh, God, <laughs> how did we get here? <laughs> Bro, it's kind of funny. She's kind of a savage. I'm going through these DMs all fucking day, I swear, and I have a lot of them, so I'm going to get to you. Just be patient. I already get talking to a lot of you, and you seem mad, creepy shit, but I blocked no one yet. That's good. I'm literally responding in this video. Hold your horses, hoes. God damn. Oh, my God. All right, I'm done reading this shit. Oh, yeah, man. Bro. I need a cleanse. I need, yeah. a, I need to... Maybe I need to become a religious guy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> have your spiritual <laughs> awakening. <said>, have your. <laughs> 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 <It said, laughs> oh god. Said this is not American Dick Idol. Yeah, oh bro. This shit. <laughs> yeah. You need to go watch the spiritual soul, man. Cleanse, cleanse your mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only on the Why Is It News podcast. Baby. Uh, only on, on the hashtag Why Is This News podcast, man. I hope you guys enjoyed episode number five. Uh, skiz will not be available. For uh, this upcoming week's uh, next week's uh, podcast, because um, he is moving into his um, apartment, um, I'm working on trying to find a different co-host uh, for that episode. If not, then I may just. Hey, you fucking replacing me, dog? Uh, chill, hey, hey, chill, chill, bro, chill. It's just for one week, my guy. No one's replacing you. It's just, it's just, it's just a, it's just a, uh, a sub. We're just putting the sub in right for right now. He's just coming in to, right. to, to, for, for um a, just for I'm a couple of spot minutes. Sideline, yeah, right? yeah, 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 just for some spot minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just for some spot minutes. But uh, yeah, I'm working. Right. I'm working on that. You guys, I'll let you guys know if 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 not, I might be able to find one. I probably would not. You guys would not get an episode of this upcoming week unless something crazy happens this week. Then maybe I might just do it on my own. Then if if it's something I we got we got to talk about. But um, I will let you guys know. Um, overall, um, hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Me and Skiz are out. Peace. Hop in the rave and I skirt. Diamonds, they came out the earth. She want to fuck for a purse. Niggas can't walk on my turf. You can get put on some merch if you scared go to church. My niggas with it, they bout it. And all of my niggas, they came from the bottom. Uh, no one can stop us from winning. My nigga, they tried. There's no way around it.